By the end of this series, you will know how to make a modern RNG game on Roblox. I've already made a RNG series last year, which has over 26 episodes. And in the course of this series, I have learned a lot and now I'm coming back with a new series on how to make an RNG game in 2025. So I've prepared kind of a list here, what will be featured in this series. Uh, but first, let's just hop into Roblox Studio. So, I'm um, just in Roblox Studio right now. And yeah, on screen you will see um, the whole list with what will be featured. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go over that quickly. So we will have auras equipping and unequipping, of course, because the game won't work otherwise. We will also have the aura storage, with um, this time we have um, auras that we can stack. So we can only not have an hour only one time, but we can maybe have the aura like 10 times. We're also gonna cover rolling. Of course, you want to roll for the auras and cutscenes for the rolling if you roll a very, very, very rare aura. We're also gonna go over the custom animations for auras, like maybe the custom walk animation, idle animation, stuff like that, uh, as well as the sounds. We're finally gonna go over the crafting and gears, which you can equip and craft. Potions as well, which you can also craft. The weather, which can change and um, give you custom mutations. We're also going to go over some epon commands later. So you can get some epon commands in your game and maybe troll some players or just give yourself the best RS to test it easier. Um, we're also going to cover game passes and dev products. So you maybe make some Robux from the game. And lastly, I think it's kind of obvious, but we're going to go over auto roll as well. Um, because I haven't put this as a game pass since most games have this as a reward for joining a group. So yeah, that's basically what we will be going over. So now that we are in Roblox Studio, the first thing we want to do is go to the game settings. And then there will be something with um, save your game. You will just want to press that. And then once you saved your game and gave it a name, you will now see this once you click on game settings i'm just going to change the name as well change this to rng series 2025 hit save go back to the game settings what you want to do is you want to go to security and make sure the studio access to api services is enabled this is important for future episodes so the first thing we are going to do right now is we are going to do a very basic variant of the rolling for us in our output. So the first thing we want to do is in our replicate storage, we want to add a config, a configuration. We can just leave it like that. And now you want to come here and add a module script. This module script, we will change to Auras. Actually, we're going to group this as a folder. So right click on this. Actually, you can't see. Right click on this and click on group as a folder. Now, once you got this grouped up as a folder, you can change the name of this by just by clicking on it. And we will change this to Auras. Then we can change this name to Chances. I'm going to copy the name chances and I'm going to paste this here and here. And now we want to make our chances table. So chances.rs is going to be equal to a table. And now this will have our whole rs pretty much. So this is going to be our rs config where basically all our rs will go. So I'm just going to make a aura called, let me just think of name. Maybe we want the plant aura. This is just a basic name. Uh, you can just choose your own auras, of course. You're going to format it like this, because with this formatation, you could also use spaces. So right after you want to have an equal and then you want to do some curly brackets so you have another table 
And within this table, we are going to define some, some different attributes. So the first thing we're going to use is going to be an ID. This will be our first R, so it's going to have the ID of one. This will be very easy if we want to award RS or if we want to use admin commands later on. So you can just, instead of using the plants, uh, the, what I'm saying the plants, the RS name, we can also just pass the ID, which is way faster. Then secondly, what we want to do is we want to have an animation, an animations table in here, or actually, we will do the animations with a script later on. For now, we want to have a sound ID, which is going to be zero for now. We're also going to have the chance, of course. So the chance, we're going to format this in a very nice way. Just like this. This is going to be the formatation of our chance. So one in two. If you want to have an aura that's one in 100,000, you can of course do it like this. Also you can put points in between so you can orientate yourself. Now I'm just gonna do this one and two. I'm gonna make another aura. Make sure you have the comma right here. This one will be the water. And this will also be one and two. Make sure to change the ID and then we should be good. So now we need a function that handles this. So in our configuration, in our ours folder, we're going to make a new module script and call this ours as well. We're actually going to replace the ours folder with this script now. And instead of this ours script, we will have every single module script that is down here. So the first thing you want to do is local chances is equal to require script.chances. And now we can start by doing functions. So function auras and then role for aura. We're also going to pass the luck. Actually, we're just going to use this right now. And then we just basically use an RNG method to get our random row. And then we're just going to use everything like this. So what this does is we're going to generate a random number. The dot new actually it's yeah, as you can see, or as you cannot see, sorry again. Uh, this returns a pseudo random generator using an optional seat. So yeah, it just gives you a random number pretty much. That is what it does. Then we're going to use this role with our next number. We're going to pass in zero and one. Then we are going to get our cumulative chance. And then we're going to check for every aura name and aura data in our chances.rs, which is this. So our aura name would be this, and our aura data would be this. Then we are going to add the cumulative chance with the aura data.chance, as you can see here. And then if the role is less than the cumulative chance, we are going to return the aura name as well. And else we're going to return nil. So what we can do is we're also going to make a server script. This will be our receiver. And then here, we're going to handle all our remote events, which we're also going to put a folder for in our web storage. This will be our remotes. In here, we will make a new folder called events and a new folder called functions. We're also going to make a new remote event 
and we're going to call this role. And here we're going to do local remotes. It's going to be equal to replicate storage. So remotes. And then local events. It's going to be remotes.events and local functions is going to be equal to remotes not functions just like this and then we're going to get the role event so events dot role dot on server events connect the function we are going to get the player which is a player and then it also wants us to just give us the R script, so we're going to accept that. And yeah. As you can see, we're not going to return this yet. But we're going to print the R name. Just like that. So when we join the game now, you will see that nothing happens as of right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some UI. So we're going to add a screen GUI. I'm going to call this a role. Actually, I'm going to call this main. Then in here, I'm going to make a frame and call this frame role. Also make sure you enable the ignore GUI inset here. And then I'm going to make this a nice size of one. So our whole screen is covered. I'm going to make the background transparency to 1 as well. And once we got this set to 1, we can start by adding a button. So let's add a button here. I'm going to choose a text button. I'm going to just drag this down here, I'm going to make this a bit bigger, and then align it in the middle. I'm going to call this button Roll Button. And then I'm going to come to my handly size here. I'm going to do maybe like a 0 0.25 and 0.15. This is a bit too big, but it works. Then we can add a nice UI corner to our button to make it a bit rounded off at the edges. And then we can go down to our text properties. I'm going to choose a nice font, maybe like Montserrat and bold. I'm going to make the text scaled. I'm going to call the text with roll. I want to make the button a tiny bit smaller, just like this. And then I'm going to add a UI text size constraint with a max text size of like maybe 50 or 55. And now what you want to do is when you press on this roll button, it should print the aura that you rolled for. So let's do this. So I'm going to add a local script into our role frame, in which I'm first going to get the local role, a role frame, which is going to be equal to script of parent. I'm going to go get the local role button. It's going to be equal to role frame dot role button. We also want to get the uh, the events folder. You can just go to the server and just copy these lines here. Except the functions, we don't need them, so just these lines here. So then we can do roll button, dot mouse button one click. Then let's connect the function. And yeah, it's just gonna fire the server. So now we can come to our play and check the output. Clear the output and then press our roll button. As you can see, we are rolling plant, water, plant, water, plant, water, and plant. So now let's try and add a new aura here. So maybe you want to make a rarer aura. I'm going to add the void aura. I'm going to make its chance 1 in 10. So this should, of course, add up. I'm going to make this one in 100. 
And these ones, I'm going to make them one in 50 and one in 49. Just like that. Now we can go play. Roll. And it's getting nil. Why is it getting nil? Maybe because we forgot to change the ID or because our numbers are getting too low. If that's the case, no, it was just because I don't know. So we're getting nil because we did not have a role. I actually just messed up the chances. Uh, so yeah, this doesn't add up to 100 as well. So what you want to do is you just want to put your biggest divider at the back of every aura and then just put them here to make them add up to 100. So this is of course 50 and then the other 50 are going to add up to 100. So now we're going to get something every time. And you can see we're only getting what and, and plants because these R's are like a 50-50. And if I avoid, this is only 1%. So let's try to get our avoid aura. Maybe we can get it. It's 1 in 100. I'm feeling lucky today. Still haven't gotten it. This is like my Clash Royale openings. For, sure. Uh, still no voids. Why is it not giving me my void? Either I'm just unlucky. Oh, no, we got it. There we are. So this system actually works very good. And now we can roll for our R's. So yeah, this is essentially just the first episode of this new series. I really hope you guys will enjoy this series. And yeah, I don't know when I will be able to put uh, parts out because we also got our um, phase in school now where we have all of our exams. So I'm also going to study for them. But yeah, I'm going to try to push out videos as soon as possible. And yeah, thank you for making this possible. Uh, if you like my content, or if you like this series in particular, you can also uh, subscribe and like the video. And yeah, thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode.